Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I'm standing outside the Palace Hotel in the beautiful Derbyshire town of Buxton. I've come here today because I've been invited by Rail Trail Tours to join one of their groups for the morning on their festive Chatsworth and the Peak District tour. So this tour is based here in Buxton, staying at the Palace Hotel. It's very conveniently located for the railway station over there with its famous fan window. The town centre is just down there across the road and there's also the famous Buxton University. Well, it's actually a branch of Derby University, but it's, it's a famous university. One day we'll come and do a video on that. So what's happening this morning is we're gonna join the group and we're gonna go to Bakewell and we're gonna just see really what happens if you go on a rail trail tour. Now this one is a festive one. Obviously they do tours all over the year, um, which go to various different places all over the UK and Europe and indeed some further afield places such as Australia, India and America. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go and find a group and um, we're gonna go to Bakewell and see what we see. has now arrived, the guests are boarding, ready for their scenic journey across the Peak Districts to Bakewell. When they get to Bakewell we're going to visit the Bakewell Pudding Shop and we're going to see how Bakewell puddings are made, so it's going to be quite an exciting day. So we've arrived in the beautiful Derbyshire town of Bakewell. This is the bridge over the River Wye. You can see the River Wye stretching off in that direction and there's the town itself with the church up on the hill. It really is a lovely town, you can do some lovely walks in this area in the Peak District. Um, if you're wondering what that noise is, it's a man blowing leaves to make the town look even nicer. But today, on the Rail Trail Tour, what we're going to do, we're going to go and see how they make the world famous Bakewell Pudding. Now, you may have had Bakewell tarts. You can see them in most supermarkets, but the real ones are Bakewell puddings and they're made here in Bakewell. Now, as you can see, the weather isn't great today. Not stopping me or the people on the rail trail holiday enjoying themselves. It's it, everyone's, you know, excited because we're going somewhere exciting. The place we're going to is where they make the Bakewell puddings and it's just up here. So, we're just going to walk through the town centre and then we're going to go a Bakewell pudding being made, which um, I'm really excited about because I've never seen a Bakewell pudding being made. I've always, always not used to like having the Bakewell tarts as a child, and indeed I still do. But to see the real thing, the Bakewell pudding, it's gonna be quite exciting. There's a lot of outdoor type shops here in Bakewell, lots of gift shops. It's um, an area where lots of people, when they explore the Peak Districts, it's one of the towns everyone usually will come and visit. It's got some lovely stone buildings and here is where we're looking for the old original Bakewell pudding shop. That's where we're going to and that's where we're going to go and see the puddings being made. So look if you look at the windows you can see a very exciting array of puddings and etc. On this side there's more looks like there's even an ale. I might even have to buy that myself. Let's go inside and um, see what we see. So this is inside their shop. It's quite big. A lot of things on sale here to do with the bait or puddings. We're going to go upstairs and then we're going to join the group and we're going to get our aprons ready for our demonstration. We're actually going to go and make them, or the group's going to make them, I'm going to film them on how a Bakewell pudding is made. So here we are, we're upstairs. The group is just having um, having teas and coffees before their pudding making experience. So I'm gonna go and join them. So we're now in the Bakewell pudding shop and I've been given this rather um, nice apron to wear. We're gonna go in and see how they make a pudding. So we just came upstairs to get the aprons. I'm now going downstairs. And the group has gone ahead of me. I'm just trying to see where they've gone. There they are, they're up there. So we're actually going to go and see a Bakewell pudding being made, which I'm really quite excited about. This is the, their shops. You can see all the different things you can buy 
in the shop. We're now going to go through into the room where they make the puddings. Has everybody got a this is very much a blue Peter here is one we made earlier. <laughs> As you see, we're only a small area. This is not our main bakehouse. This is what we call our test bakery. Our main bakehouse is about a quarter of a mile off site. We used to be out there and then we were baking so much, both for ourselves and other people, that we had to uh, have a rethink. So we now have a purpose-built bakery. Everything's done in-house, all the cakes, the breads, and of course the puddings are all done in-house but they are done off-site. So we, when we uh, had the alterations done, we had this little area for colours like yours. <coughs> now then, full container and a piece of puff pastry. Pop it in and when you get it in, you just need to use your thumbs because you need to stretch this. The ones of you who bake know that pastry as it bakes it shrinks back. Do you want me to pass it here? No. Swing this out till you can't see any more of your foil. Mm -hmm. oh, right. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. Don't do it till it's like a polo mate, with a hole. <laughs> You're not doing shrewd. Now, could somebody just pass me that bag of jam down? Thank you. Right. So do one side and do the Now don't go mad and think I'm going to have the jammiest bakewell pudding in bakewell because the ones of you who make your jam tarts will know. Yeah that if you get too much and it will boil out and you'll have a real mess on the baking tray. Now I don't have to clean that up, you don't have to clean it up, but I know the person who does and that will be in black books all day. <laughs> so you want about a teaspoonful and it will find its own level. It's so there. <laughs> this is just coming you a little bit about the Bakewell pudding because puddings are the one that you only get in Bakewell. They are unique and traditional to Bakewell. And it all started about the 1880s. This is the local town legend. I am not local, so I'm, yeah, I'm telling you what was told to me. But in the 1880s, some noblemen were out uh, hunting in the woods that then surrounded the town. They were out hunting all day and they came back up to what is now the Rutland Arms at the head of our street. It was then called the Old White Horse Inn. And they went to ask the manager, the owner, if they could have some strawberry tarts because they were hungry. Now why, if they were hungry, they were wanting strawberry tarts? I don't know. I'd have wanted steak and chips. But anyway, <laughs> they asked for strawberry oh, tarts. Oh, you've done that before. Now, the cook <laughs> was, caught, were, was just having a really bad day. Some versions of the, of the uh, story even say she was drunk. And she didn't put any flour in the mix and made, basically she made a mess of them. But they didn't look very prepossessing. When you get your Bakewell puddings back, you'll think, oh, what are these? But they tasted nice, and the noblemen liked them. And this Bakewell pudding, as they came to be known, took off in the town in a mild sort of the way. Now that's legend, we're coming on here to fact. At that time, in the front of our shop, a, a man named Mr. Wilson made, was a tallow chandler's. He made candles. His wife, Mrs. Wilson, got hold of this accidental recipe and she started making them here on these premises commercially. And they've been made here ever since. We make small ones, medium, large. We make an awful lot of them, hundreds and hundreds in the busy season a week. Um, we sell them in our shop, we serve them in our restaurant, we deliver them over the local area and we post them all over the world. And we can post them because this in here is, whoops, <laughs> <laughs> it's as I say, only just come out of the fridge, very stiff. It's a very rich recipe. In here you've got butter, sugar, eggs and ground almonds, plus the secret ingredient. I'd have to shoot you all if I told you, it would make an awful mess on the floor, so we won't do that. But uh, it makes a very nice, thank you, Bakewell pudding. Right, so now we're going to ask you, you're going to put your own dollop in. And it is a dollop, a Derbyshire dollop, we don't do imperial or metric. <laughs> Again, as with your jam, and as I say, it's stiff, that's about right. You don't want a lot. If you have too much, it will, it will all boil out and again, a mess on the, on the trays. Now we come to the, <coughs> the part which most people, most people manage this part beautifully. It's the little bit at the end that we get wrong. Oh, yeah. it's too much. Yeah, I've got pills with me, yeah. Well, it's too bad. I'll go pastry or butter. It's a secret ingredient. The secret, oh, I, you know, I had all sorts of guesses for the secret. Nobody ever has guessed that. 
but really it is only I shouldn't tell you this but I will it's only a bit of something just to preserve our mystique you know it isn't anything vital like people have guessed apples they've guessed honey they oh we've had all sorts of things uh, Soda. <laughs> yeah, well, it isn't my car. Yeah, it's not that sort of thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, you're quite yeah. right. Do yeah. you want to come and put your yes. your name or your initials on two squares? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I'm very pleased you've all got your jam in your puddings. You know, sometimes I have a real job cleaning up afterwards because get jam all over. <laughs> So we've just had a very interesting experience of seeing how a Bakewell pudding's been made. And I've just been having tea in the tea room upstairs above the Bakewell pudding shop. Now, I've got here John. He is the tour manager of this tour. So, John, would you just like to tell us a little bit about what, what's happening on this tour? Yes, um, delighted to. Um, all of our clients arrived into uh, Buxton uh, yesterday. Uh, some, uh, the majority by train, uh, we organise uh, rail inclusive uh, arrangements uh, for clients. Some clients can um, drive, self-drive options are available and uh, we can accommodate uh, whichever request clients have. Uh, once clients had settled into their rooms last night, uh, uh, we met for dinner and then uh, this morning we've uh, caught the coach uh, from Buxton down to Bakewell. Uh, we've been made very welcome, um, had uh, uh, a really fun uh, explanation on the making of Bakewell puddings, uh, the secret ingredients uh, haven't been shared with us but uh, um, a really informative and enjoyable morning. Uh, clients now have gone uh, their different ways within Bakewell uh, just to explore the town and uh, take in the sights. Uh, then this afternoon we're catching uh, a coach to Paul's Cavern uh, where we'll go underground uh, to see the stark tights and stark lights and then uh, back to the hotel uh, prior to uh, a walking tour of Buxton in the morning. Uh, then uh, at lunchtime we travel to Chatsworth uh, to see the Christmas market display uh, on the exterior of the property um, and then going into the house uh, which is dressed for Christmas to uh, see Christmas um, uh, in its fine style uh, within a, a short time in uh, Derbyshire. Uh, so, uh, yeah, a lovely group and uh, looking forward to getting to know all of our clients. Thank you very much, John. So, as you've heard it from the tour manager himself, it's, people are going to really you know, have a great time. They're going to see Derbyshire in the run-up to Christmas. So, well, it's um, yeah, a great tour in this in this festive time of year. So thank you very much, John, and um, enjoy the rest of your tour. I'm sure you're going to have a great time. Enjoy everyone else. Have a great time at Chatsworth tomorrow. So that was a very interesting and enjoyable experience, seeing how the Batewell puddings are made. Now, before we leave Batewell, I've got somebody else who would like to say hello. This is Lisa. Lisa organised the tour. She's from the Rail Trail office. So yeah, we're now going to head back across the Peak District and we're going to leave the client to explore the rest of the beautiful town of Bakewell. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and um, if you'd like to travel on a rail trail tour then do ring up the office. You can speak to one of their friendly members of staff. They can send you a brochure in the post and um, maybe we'll see you on a future tour. So thank you very much for watching and Thank you very much to Rail Trail Tours for allowing me to join them this morning. I've had a great time. And so has Lisa. Bye.